finally the video falls on exactly the right day. Hello everyone, I'm Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia and today I'm going to be talking to you about that time I met Nicholas Hammond because it's his birthday. Uh, which time? The first time? You couldn't speak then. You were able to speak the second time. Okay, I'll talk about the second time. But you got the photo the first time. Okay, I'll talk about the first time. But that one was planned, the second one wasn't. So I'll talk about both. I'm going to tell you about the times I met Nicholas Hammond. Yes, that's right. I've met him twice. So for those of you who are scratching your head wondering who on earth is this guy, this is him. So the first time I met him, which is where I got the picture that you see in the thumbnail, was at our local symphony orchestra Rodgers and Hammerstein gala concert thing and the second time was at the Sydney Opera House when I was seeing My Fair Lady with my dad. I'm not counting the night I met Julie. Sure he was the host for the event but I didn't actually meet him. I just met Julie. Full video clicking the card. So the first was as I said at a Rodgers and Hammerstein concert thing that was happening down here. He actually lived down here so he was hosting the thing. And I remember he was telling somebody else that he had spoken with Heather that morning. AKA Louisa. R.I.P. Heather. So after the concert was finished I went up with my mum to say hi. Or tried to say hi in my case I could barely talk. Just like it was with Julie. So my mother kindly jumped in and told him that I must have been the biggest fan of The Sound of Music ever because I have the opening scene tattooed on my leg. I actually don't know if I've ever mentioned that in one of my videos before, but yes, I do. I have the opening scene of Sound of Music tattooed on my leg. Then he said if I wasn't wearing leggings he would have asked to see it. So I pulled up my leggings and showed him. And then he said he would tell Julie about it. So there's a very, very good chance Julie Andrews knows about my tattoo. So there's no way she would know it's from the Trembling Birthday Girl back in 2013. So then my mum took a couple of photos and he told me he had played Friedrich in the movie and I told him that Friedrich was my favourite of the children. And no, I did not just say that because I was talking to him. Nicholas is the reason Friedrich's my favourite, but he was my favourite long before I ever met him. And it's all because Nicholas knew who Julie was. If you watch the movie, Nicholas's love for Julie is so clear. He loves her in a way that none of the other kids did and you can see that. And as someone who loves Julie just as much, it is so relatable. I talked about it in my Valentine's Day video. So that was the first time and now we're going to talk about the second time. The second time, as I said, happened when I was seeing My Fair Lady. For the second time actually. So this was actually on Julie's birthday. I picked that date specifically. She actually directed that production. She'd gone back to America by this point and I knew that, but I didn't care. I was still going to celebrate her birthday this way. So it happened during intermission. Normally I just stay in the theatre during intermission. Most of the time it's probably been because I was with my grandmother so we just sat there and talked for the 20 minutes. But not this time. This time I had to go and use the bathroom. So once I've finished going to the bathroom I'm waiting around in the foyer for my dad and I look over and I see him across the room and I still remember my thought process. It went something like this. Oh my god, that's Nicholas. Oh my god, I have to say hi. No, actually, I won't. It's okay, I've met him. I don't want to bother him. Oh my god, I've got to go say hi. No, 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 it's fine. I'm going to regret this if I don't say hi. And then I called out to him. And I don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, I would say he did recognize me. And that's probably because of that tattoo. So thank goodness I showed him the first time. And this time I actually was able to talk. And then he asked me if I was enjoying the show and I said yes I was and it was all wonderful. And then he said my dress was very nice and perfect for the occasion. His wife was actually in the production. She was playing Mrs Higgins and she stole the show. Mrs Higgins was my absolute favourite bit about the show. So I guess it would make sense that he could have been there. But I never imagined I'd run into him. That was the thing, this one was totally unplanned. The first time it was pretty much guaranteed. It wasn't guaranteed the way it was guaranteed the night I met Julie. But I knew he was the host and I knew I was going to go up and say hi afterwards. The second time it was completely unplanned and completely out of the blue. 
And even if I didn't get a photo the second time, I think that time was probably my favourite out of the two of them. I was actually able to talk that time and it being completely unplanned just made it all the more wonderful. And there you have it. That's the story of how I met Nicholas Hammond. Twice. So happy birthday Nicholas. And that's everything I've got for today guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments who's your favourite Von Trapp child. Whether that be from The Sound of Music or real life or whatever. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next week. So long farewell!